It is truly an honor and a pleasure to be able to address you here today in my capacity as vice chairperson and delegation leader of the Parliament of St. Martin. Today, June 1st, 2023, is once again the start of a hurricane season. This one is predicted to be a near normal hurricane season. However, at St. Martin, we have learned always to be prepared. And in that respect, the government and the people of St. Martin are once again preparing for whatever might come our way this season. The last EPCO held just three months ago allowed the delegations to discuss various topics, such as the migration situation, the democratic deficit, and the progress of the country packages. In addition, the delegations also participated in very educational and thought-provoking work visits on Curacao. During the last EPCO, we were also able to define how we move forward on certain topics. One such topic is our discussions surrounding slavery and colonialism. It is now essential to indeed discuss what happened after that infamous comma. What is next? What do we expect as countries, as islands in the Caribbean? What does the Netherlands expect? What do our people expect? And how do we get there together while working on awareness and understanding. In the previous EPCO, the delegations of the Caribbean countries presented a draft kingdom law for a dispute regulation, the so-called geschillenregeling, that is in line with the agreement and criteria set forth by the EPCO of 2015, namely that a dispute regulation should regard strictly legal disputes regarding the charter to be handled by an independent body and that issues are binding decisions. In the hope of gathering support from you, our colleagues from the Netherlands, the islands intend to submit this draft via their governments. This dispute regulation must become a reality as we must ensure that we live up to the explicit requirement in the Kingdom Charter in Article 12a. These coming days, we will also discuss the data protection, which is an agreement within the country packages that need to be carefully looked at, and climate change and climate adaptation, which recently received a boost by means of an MOU that was signed between the countries and the Minister for Climate and energy policy. It, be, it would be remiss of me not to mention the mutual regulation signed in April of last year by our prime, in April by our prime ministers and the state secretary for kingdom relations and digitalization. <coughs> An alternative to the coho that were all that that all, that we all were very critical of. Therefore. It is now up to us, the countries, to hold our governments accountable while working on relationships and cooperation and creating awareness and understanding of our different situations within the Kingdom of the Netherlands. As this parliamentary term for the Parliament of St. Martin comes to an end in some seven months, this will be the last EPCO that this sitting term will experience. Additionally, being one of the founding fathers of the St. Martin Patriotic Movement in December 1978, 45 years ago at that, and having spent from 1987 to 2023, being elected and re-elected and serving in every capacity of political office, I have decided to hang up the proverbial gloves and will not be contesting the upcoming or any elections. I say it often. The only person I still recognize here at IPCO from the good old days is member of the state Senate, Mr. Paul Rosenmuller. 
It is therefore my wish, as I say farewell to this IPCO body, that for this IPCO and moving forward, we continue to meet based on openness, understanding, constructive dialogue, and trust if this kingdom is to work.